Hey everybody, it's Queen of Light 1111. Happy Friday. I hope you all had a wonderful new moon. Um, I, <laughs> I gotta tell you, I, um, I just pulled all these cards and, and I like had to ground again because this energy is just like, whoa. There were a few times when some certain cards came out that I literally had to catch my breath. I like gasped when I saw some of the bottoms of the deck and some of the cards that flew out. And so, you know, and, and I think that that energy has a lot to do with that there is a shift that is occurring for the better, for the better. All, it's change is always for the good, right? There's one thing that's certain in life that is um, death, taxes, and change, okay? Change will always occur. So it's very, very important to be in this energy of balance and embrace change and not, you know, fight the change when it's happening. And I just feel like I'm like so extremely, extremely proud of the collective, of this feminine, of this masculine for just how hard that they both have been working, specifically Divine Feminine, in just making very, very difficult decisions, standing in her courage and in her personal power to, you know, make choices that are good for her that don't have anything to do with the masculine, that are good for her and that are good for her journey. I'm so proud of the masculine in, you know, the lessons that he has been going through and the way that he has been patient in making decisions about how to move forward um, in the cycle with Divine Feminine. On the outside, it may not look like there's a lot going on, but there is a lot going on in each individual journey, okay? So just because you're not talking doesn't necessarily mean that there isn't an ascension and healing growth happening with the counterpart. Remember, these are general readings. The only way to understand what is happening in your specific journey is by getting your own personal reading, okay? And with that being said, I have a super, super special announcement. We, oh not we, I have created two special readings for you guys. I just decided to do those last night and I'm doing a in-depth divine masculine, an in-depth divine masculine reading available for purchase on my website. It is a 50 minute session, five zero, okay, session where we will look at the head space, the heart space, and the environment of Divine Masculine as related to you. We will look at the energy of the connection and potential future energies. I'm only going to have that reading available for a short period of time, okay? I don't think it's something that I'm always going to offer because it's a very big spread and it takes, you know, a significant amount of time, 50 minutes. It's a lot of energy, so I'm not going to be able to do too many of those. So if you're interested in getting that reading, head, heart, environment, as related to the counterpart, uh, current energies and potential future energies, you know, current energies for the connection, future energies for the connection, then book that reading now, queenoflight1111.com. The second reading that I have created for all of you is a reading, if you're just interested in knowing, just in general, what's coming up in my love life, okay? That one is a video reading. And so for that specific reading, we will look at like, what is your energy today in love? Okay, what's your energy towards love today? Are you open? Are you angry? Are you bitter? Are you go with the flow? So we'll look at your current energy. Then we'll look at what that energy that you're in is potentially attracting as far as a relationship. Then we'll look at who you could potentially attract while you're in that energy. So we'll look at the person's personality type or occupation, um, sun sign. We'll see what comes through. And then the last part of that reading is guidance from spirit on that specific love potential. So that is a special reading that I'm also offering. You know, that one, I'm not sure if it's going to be for a limited time. We'll see. But if you're interested in that reading book now, last, last message before I get into the energies, 
the November special is running out, okay? And we've, I've had a lot of people book. So the November special for the 30 minute and the 45 minute reading, it is clearly indicated on the website. Those are available through the end of the month, but only while supplies last. And I only have probably a handful more of sessions that I'm able to sell before I take that special off. So that's the spiel. If you want to work with me, I would be honored. I would ask that when you work with me, you come into the session, receive the reading with an open mind. I read current energies, earth energies. I'm not giving you like the 5D fluffy stuff. The only 5D um, energy reading that I do is the Akashic Records reading. So the energy readings that I do are current energies, earth energies specific to you and your partner so that being said let's get started with the bottom of the deck for divine feminine's overall energy we have the justice card we have the five of cups and we have mortar and pestle so what we're seeing with divine feminine in just her overall energy is she's really balancing out the past she's balancing out her emotions she's balancing out her sadness and her grief and she's really breaking things down she's looking at the truth of the situations in which she has been in whether that's friendships or romantic relationships or business partnerships whatever it is she is looking at the truth of each and every situation and she is breaking things down down logically emotionally and she's coming into truth and clarity so now oops sorry buddha so now how does that manifest into her energy so let's take a look let's take a look so first and foremost nine of cups she's all about her wishes she's all about her wishes she's all about her joy she wants to manifest her joy she wants to move forward in love with someone stable with someone dependable someone that's going to be there because in the past she has soul searched and she has really looked at herself and is looking to grow from the past she's taken a look back she sees the choices that she's made she knows and understands what choices she would make differently and now she is ready to build something long stable and long term and that starts with filling up her own cup because that is the only way to achieve success and completion of this journey she has a will to win and have this ultimate joy this ultimate love with someone who is going to be in alignment with her and when she goes back and she looks at the past she knows what changes she needs to make in order to have a solid brand new love okay whether that is a renewal of love with masculine or whether that is a new love in general but here's the thing remember we have the ace of cups she knows that her abundance will come in her own self-love first and foremost divine masculine's overall energy at the bottom of the deck we have the world card we have the six of wands and we have the justice card king of swords justice i love this i love this this is telling me and remember this is a justice card we just got just got the justice card at the bottom of the deck for divine feminine so this is very interesting because this is telling me that he has gone through a successful completion of the fool's journey now when i say the fool's journey that means from the zero point card which is the fool to the magician to the hermit to judgment to the world right that like all of those zero to 20 21 that is the fool's journey here we have 21 the world card he has successfully completed his journey and now he's ready to bring in balance and harmony and peace and integrity into his life he's ready for that he's ready to be a leader he's ready to go after the things jobs careers friendships relationships that are in alignment with him so what is his overall energy right how does that manifest well He's making some very difficult choices. He's gone within. He's not committing to any union at this time. Four of Wands. He's not committing to any sort of connection at this time. He knows that he wants to move forward in love. Knight of Cups. Look at this. The second card. This is the second card for him, right? We have the Two of Swords with the Clarifier, and now we've got the Knight of Cups. The exact second card for Feminine. 
Knight of Cups with the King of Pentacles, right? Very interesting. So now for masculine, right, what do we know? We know that he's not committing to any union at this time. Why? Because we know that he wants to follow his heart and he wants to do the work. He wants to plan. He wants to be diligent. He wants to pay attention to how to move forward in love. And this in and out player, player energy is a huge burden. It's overwhelming him because when he goes within and he sees how he has acted during this cycle of the fool's journey, that energy of the player, that Casanova is overwhelming. And he knows that having too many options, too, too many daydreams, too many women is just difficult. Feeding. And what happens is nobody wins. Nobody wins. And so right now in his energy, he is thinking about brand new beginnings. He is thinking about how to create innocence to start fresh, right? When you think of this card, when I think of this card, it's that fool's journey again. How do I step into that fool's journey, to that innocence, to that new beginning? Because at the bottom of the deck, we're seeing he's got the world card. So his most significant energies just in his overall is that he wants an innocent brand new beginning, but he's not going to commit to any union. He's working on following his heart. This F boy energy is very overwhelming because he knows when he plays around with too many options, all it creates is chaos and defeat and nobody wins. So he's looking for a brand new, fresh start in innocence. Okay, hope that makes sense. Now, let's look at what is the most significant overall energy that masculine and feminine have towards each other. We have the silver waterfall, clarified by the seven of pentacles and poverty, okay? So very interesting. So when we get the silver waterfall, this is about the energy of not letting things on the outside affect your joy. This is all about staying balanced, staying healthy, staying happy, raising your vibration, and not letting outside energies, whether it's social media or other people or even your family or friends, affect your vibration. It's very, very important to put up boundaries, to put up, um, you know, priorities of what is very important for you to focus on. Seven of Pentacles clarifies that. So that is where the pause is at. The pause is in the analysis, look at this is the seeds that are being planted. The seeds that are being planted is that during this poverty, meaning during the separation, the seeds that are being planted is I'm not going to let anything affect me on the outside. I'm not going to let other people, other, you know, situations affect me. So the way that this can manifest for the feminine is I'm not letting my masculine or any outside circumstances affect how I'm investing in myself through the separation. And for the masculine, same for him. He doesn't want to allow anything to affect the seeds that he's planting during the separation from his feminine because he knows that he has sabotaged his abundance with her, right? He knows. And... I just feel like he's coming into the realization of who and what feminine is. And if he, if he already knew that now he's experiencing the loss of that potential abundance and feminines in the energy, she's like, yeah, I, I'm not going to let this separation affect me. I'm not letting what masculine is doing affect me. I'm going to stay in my lane. I'm going to focus on my own balance. I'm going to focus on my joy, on my happiness, because that's what's most important to me. So divine feminine's most significant overall energy towards masculine sexual freedom. I feel like she gets this card a lot. This card comes out a lot for this divine feminine. This is all about connecting to the masculine from her heart and soul. And this is about communicating beyond words, right? Soul to soul, body to body, energy to energy. This is the energy where she's realizing just how sacred their physical interaction is with each other. It's not just sex. It's not lust. It's this energy of the, there's a depth, a maturity, and respect 
that she is working on, Three of Pentacles. And she's seeing that this interaction, this exchange of sacred energy with masculine was a gift because what it has done is, you know, sometimes it could be healing, sometimes it could be devastating, but then it has created healing and ascension and growth for her. So she's in this energy where she's really looking at this sacred exchange in a different way. She's not going to look at it like, oh, you know, this was just a, you know, a fling. She's looking at this in the way that the connection and the interaction and that sacred energy exchange has changed her. If he wants to think it was a fling, blah, 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 whatever, that's on him. But she is looking at this from a higher consciousness, three pentacles, and she's seeing that that she has grown and developed so much in her sexuality, in her femininity, on her journey because of this exchange with masculine, okay? And she's no longer putting herself down about it. She's saying, okay, I had this exchange or exchanges and I'm seeing how much I have healed, what kind of choices I would make again, what kind of choices I wouldn't make any more and how I'm freeing myself of you know, maybe saying, oh, I shouldn't have done that or blah, 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 right? Like those types of things. She's freeing herself from that sort of energy. Divine masculine's most significant overall energy towards divine feminine is divine feminine. I kind of gasped. And by the way, this flew out. It flew out like, um, like this, right? Where I couldn't see what it was. And when I flipped it over, I was like, whoa. So <laughs> His most significant energy towards his feminine is he sees her as his divine feminine. Someone who's nurturing, patient, caring, accepting, trusting. Someone who's loving, psychic. She is a feminine in every way to him. She is a vital, vital energy in his life that he wants to union with four of wands but remember we already saw we have in his heads in his overall energy two of swords four of wands right remember we saw that here he's going within to look at this union he's not ready to commit to it because guess what toil and labor he must do the work to be with divine feminine he knows this he knows he has to work hard he knows he has to put the effort in because a divine feminine is not just gonna take him back with a, hey, how you doing text, okay? He's got to show up. He's got to work hard to get that wheel moving again, okay? So when this card, this, this divine feminine, he knows in his most significant energy, he knows that he's got to work hard to have union with divine feminine. He knows that. Okay, so now let's go into head, heart, environment. So what I did differently this time was I did their, I picked their own bottoms of the deck. I didn't want to share it, okay? So Divine Feminine's bottom of the deck, we've got Door to Romance, Nine of Cups, Dreams Coming True, Queen of Pentacles, and the Wine card. This is very, very interesting to me because remember, we had the King of Pentacles here in how she wants to follow her heart, Okay. And now she's the queen of pentacles. She's looking for alignment. She's looking for renewed love or a new love. Okay? But she knows that she wants her match. She knows that she wants someone who's developed. She knows she wants to create a legacy. Hence that ten of pentacles. Right? She knows in the bottom of her deck, her most significant energy, head, heart, and environment is, I'm open to romance. I'm open to love. I'm open to love. I want to fulfill my wishes. I want my match and someone I can create a legacy with. That is her bottom of the deck. So now let's take a look at Divine Masculine's bottom of the deck. Well, indecision. Indecision. He's been indecisive. But guess what? Three of Pentacles, recognition and reward. He has been working very hard on his indecision, okay? He is in this energy of, you know, trying to complete this indecisive energy. He's been in this energy of 
claiming victory over his indecision, victory over this ending. So his most significant overall energy is that he has been indecisive. He's been working on that successfully during the separation, during this destruction of the connection. Okay, so now let's take a look, headspace. For Divine Feminine, her most significant thought as related to masculine, she's walking away. She's walking away from giving, this is the devil card, from caging her heart with masculine. She's walking away from that. She's open to love. She's open to alignment. She's open to renewal with him, but she's also open to new love. Okay, she's walking away from caging her heart and being restricted by masculine. She is releasing that energy and she's in this energy of feeling more mature and developed and she's feeling, you know, sexually free. So she's in an energy of maturity. She's not tying herself and caging herself into this connection with masculine. She's not doing that. She's saying, I love you. I hope you can step up and be the match. But you know what? I'm making a decision that I am open to love. I am open to my own love. But if I'm looking for, if I'm going to accept love outside of me, it must be a match. So I am going to walk away from any restrictions. And I'm seeing myself from a new perspective. I'm seeing you, Divine Masculine, and this connection from a new perspective. And I am much more mature about my choices now. Divine Masculine's most significant thought. Look at this woman holding her heart. The more, the more Divine Feminine detaches, I can't, I, I can't even begin to tell you, the more Masculine is like stepping up his work, okay? Woman holding a heart. He sees her as someone loving and compassionate and intuitive and divine. Remember, his most significant overall energy is Divine Feminine. And here she is with the biggest heart he sees her as this is the lover's card as his sacred partner but he has suspended hanged man and she's got hanged man too but he has suspended this connection he has sacrificed this connection and he's starting to look at this connection with divine feminine from a higher consciousness he is seeing that he wants to have a traditional commitment with divine feminine what is Divine Feminine's most significant feeling? Well, she's using her third eye, right? Archangel Metatron. She's seeing things clearly. She has clarity of vision. What is her clarity? That she was refusing to see certain things. She was refusing to see the offers that she was getting from Divine Masculine because she was just so devoted, so faithful, so loyal. She, she was refusing to see that he wasn't giving her what she was worth. And now in her heart space, she sees her value. She sees her worth. And she's like, she's not going to compromise herself just because she wants to be a loyal and devoted companion. She was refusing to see. Okay. She has clarity. Now she's really looking at this from a place of clarity, from a place of non-attachment, what kind of offers she was getting. And by the way, we have the page of pentacles for him here, right? He wants to follow his heart. He wants to do the work. Yeah, it, look how consistent it is. He wants to do the work. He wants to have this union with feminine and do the work because th this is all happening. These shifts are happening because divine feminine is walking away. She wants alignment. These shifts are happening within masculine because she's seeing her value. And so what is the heart space for divine masculine? Look at this door to spirit. This is a spiritual awakening. Okay. Two of wands energy. He's been waiting. He's in this energy. He's kind of waiting. He's waiting. He's in the energy of, you know, he's waking up. He's seeing the door to spirit. He's seeing spirit work with him. He's getting messages. He's getting downloads. Seeing synchronicities. So there's this energy here about, you know, door to spirit, which is all about the energy of new beginnings. But he's waiting. He's waiting for this new beginning because things have very been very, very toxic. And he's really trying to claim his power over his unhealthy patterns. What did we just say for him? He wants innocence. He's waiting, right? He's waiting. What is he waiting for? Because he's going within. 
He wants to work hard and follow his heart. He's overwhelmed by his, you know, Casanova energy and all the uh, options he was messing around with, right? So here in his heart space, he's like, I do want a new beginning with feminine. I want a new beginning. I'm waiting because I am still claiming my victory over karmic cycles over toxicity and unhealthy patterns and restrictions the devil is here and the devil is here right her walking away from being restricted makes him the, this is the this is the energy of the universe right law cause and effect that's what justice card is cause and effect when you make a change it creates it creates a um another change right so you you make a decision and it creates a counter a counter response so her walking away is creating this this response like oh I, I better get it together i better claim victory over this devil's energy she's walking away from the restriction and here she's like i was refusing to see my worth and now he's like i see your worth do you see how that works now what's happening in the environment for divine feminine well she's very focused on healing She's very focused on her emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual healing. She is healing her sadness. She is healing her isolation. She is healing her illusions. She is healing her sensitivity and her dreaminess. She's healing all of this. She is mature. She is wise. She is clear that she is worthy and that she deserves a match. What about divine masculine? What's happening in his environment as related to feminine? Well, he's very attached. This is the energy of um, like want letting go. Okay, he's in the energy of he's he knows that he's been stuck in physical addictions and emotional patterns and karmic cycles. He knows this, and so he's in this energy where he knows it's time for him to take action towards breaking the cycle. So he is very much moving forward with taking action because it's caused too much stress and anxiety. And now he is looking for peace and harmony. So in his environment, he is in this energy where he sees how attached he was to a certain pattern and how that attachment has, um, you know, gotten in the way of this connection moving forward. And now he's in the energy. He knows that he's got to cut that chain in order to move forward out of this stress and into joy and harmony. Crazy. Okay, so let's close this reading with some guidance from Ganesha and spirit in the universe. Okay, this was the second card that just made me gasp. Bottom of the deck for guidance. The question is, what is the guidance for divine masculine and feminine as related to this journey with each other? And we get the twin flame card. I was like, wow. I think of all the times I've used this, used this deck. Not I think, I know. Of all the times I've used this deck, I have never had this card fly out or become the bottom of the deck. The bottom of the deck for me is the theme, right? So it's the most significant card for me. When I read energies, twin flames, soul, partner, eternal connection. So when this card comes out for masculine and feminine, it's the bottom of the deck. It's telling me that the appearance of the twin is coming. That there is going to be a reunion. This is the guidance from the universe, okay? Not just in the energies of what you all are wanting and feeling for each other. This is the guidance from the universe saying, hey, the twin flame is on the horizon. It is your destiny to reunite. Now, I'm going to say this is a collective reading. Collective reading. There are many times I do readings for people, and this is a story that they want for their, you know, journey. But sometimes it's not the case. It's maybe perhaps not where you're at today. So use your discretion and judgment. I have a responsibility to make sure that you are all rising in your power and not staying addicted or restricted by thoughts of union. Remember, focus on union of self, 
You can't go wrong. If you bet on you, if you work on you, it's never a waste. If you sit around in a waiting room waiting for the masculine to come forward, you are wasting precious time. You are wasting your precious life. Keep moving forward on your journey, okay? So with that said, the bottom of the deck here is saying your twin is coming back. This is this energy where this tiger in the middle is saying there's passion. There's so much passion in this connection that this physical relationship will manifest. So get ready for the next profound cycle of a relationship with your twin flame. One that you're both devoted to each other and to a higher cause. So how does that energy translate for feminine oh my god look divine masculine this is basically you know the spirit saying your divine masculine's coming back get ready for him to come back as divine masculine as electric as activated power someone who will start to lead the connection and for divine masculine the message is setting boundaries he's got to start to honor and protect this connection set boundaries around people and things and situations that are getting in the way of your connection with your divine feminine step into your power masculine set boundaries protect and honor your connection and your feminine protect and honor you and your journey i can't make that up that by the way this was the second time when i got the divine masculine card the third time i gasped so now what does Ganesha have to say about all this for the message? Ganesha is saying, just chill, people. Relax. It's not so serious. Relax. When this card comes up, they're saying, relaxation is important for your health, your mood, your relationship, your overall well-being. Being in this energy of restriction and waiting and desiring and hoping is so draining just relax give things to the universe focus on your journey focus on your own love just relax because guess what for feminine the energy is decision the energy is that it is time for you to make a decision and frankly i feel like the decision has already been made she has considered all her options she has made an informed decision and the decision for her was that she wants to be strong-minded she has goals she has desires she has understanding and she's evolved through her life lessons she has decided she is ready for change so ganesha is saying you've decided stick to your decision divine masculine revelation this is very interesting so Ganesha's advice for Divine Masculine is, Divine Masculine, it is time for you to get ready for change in your internal and external world. This is about him developing the new perspective, revelation. Look at that. That's what this card is. New perspective, revelation, enlightenment. What is he enlightened about? That this feminine is his sacred partner. That's his revelation, right? So in this energy, Ganesha's guidance to masculine is be willing to reveal the truth to your feminine now. Get ready to reveal the truth when you start setting boundaries on other people, situations, and things. Honesty will bring positive change, even, even if it's painful and gives you anxiety like we see here, Nine of Swords. It's important. It's important for him to be honorable, set boundaries, protect himself and his connection, and reveal the truth. And guess what? The bottom of the deck, remember, for his overall energy, we got the Justice card, the King of Swords. He understands it. He is going to reveal the truth. He's going to stand in his strength and in his sovereignty and not a false belief system or something that is fake. That is why he's in this energy of, I'm not committing to anything right now because I want to take this next step in my journey in a place of innocence, freshness, and a new beginning. Now remember, 
I have the November special, only while supplies last. Those readings are clearly stated which ones are the November special on my website, queenoflight1111.com. And remember, if you want to know about your masculine or your counterpart, your feminine's head, heart, and environment, what the current energy is for your connection and potential future energies, that reading is called the In-Depth Divine Masculine Reading. You can book that on my website only while supplies last. And if you want to know what's coming up for you in love, I have a video reading for you guys, and that is also a new service available on my website, queenoflight1111.com. Have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. I'm sending you all so much love. Bye.